everyone. I have Ellie here with me today. She is a drop coat peek poo, which is a mix between a Pekingese and a poodle. And I'm just going to be showing you how to groom a dog with a really long drop coat like this. shampoo by Natural Groomer. Um, this shampoo is just really good and it smells amazing. I love it. Dr. Melissa drops it. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it down first. So the goal basically while we're washing and drying her is to make sure that we don't mat up her hair. Um, I'll show you the different drying techniques that I use when I dry her, um, but it's very important that we keep this hair um, not entangle free, so it's a lot easier to groom her and since she's that drop coat that is super, super important. So the first thing that I do when I go to a client's house is I'm going to ask them some information on the dog. So I'm going to ask them their age, uh, if they have any coat um, health issues or anything like that, seizures, heart conditions, anything I need to know about that might affect the grooming process, um, or just you know general health conditions that that I should know about because they need to be extra gentle if they have arthritis or anything. So um, that stuff is super super important to know while you're grooming. Um, now, Ellie here is about 10 years old. Her birthday was in May of 2012. Uh, she does not have any health conditions or allergies to any shampoos or anything. So she is a really easy girl. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, but she has this adorable little um, underbite with her tooth sticking out. Uh, I love when dogs have that. It just gives them that little bit of personality. Um, but yeah, make sure that you're asking that really, really important information when you're going to groom these dogs because um, it can be really vital during that grooming process. I'm going to be using my iGroom Magic Detangling and Conditioning Spray. All right, so I'm about to spray this stuff in her. And lucky for me, uh, Ellie's mom is super, super good, and she always brushes her out, and she doesn't have any mats, so it makes it so much easier for me to groom Ellie. And it also causes a lot less stress to Ellie because I'm not tugging on these mats all the time. Um, so, really, really love mom for doing that at home for me and making sure that she's in good condition. So, now after I spray that stuff in, that's just going to help me hold the hair straighter. So, what I'm going to do, what you're going to see me do, is I'm going to take my dryer and I'm going to blow down. I'm going to blow straight down and I'm going to kind of like blow apart. I'm going to sand back a little bit and that's going to cause the hair to spread apart which is easier for the drying process and keeps it from getting tangled. So that is what we're gonna do. Um, you'll see it as I'm drying her a little bit. Um, around for the face too, I'll hold the ear, dry straight down. Um, you should just be able to tell my technique a little bit. If you guys have any questions, you can comment in the section below and I can help you out as best as I can. Like I said, she gets this really long drop coat. 
I don't trim her hair because uh, mom likes to leave it long. So what I, the only thing I trim is besides the sanitary area is I trim her paws and then a teeny little bit by her bangs and her eyes. Uh, but I'm just gonna focus on brushing her out first. So take my brush. Just do one little section at a time. See you happy. All right, so Green Girl is all brushed and combed out. Um, now the way that you trim them is really gonna depend on what the customer wants, um, how long their drop coat is. I have another video up of a Yorkie um, that has a drop coat and I barely trim her feet because of how low her skirt is to the ground and how short her legs are. So since Ellie's skirt only goes up to here um, and her body, her body is shaped differently, she's just a different type of dog. Um, I'm going to trim her up a little bit differently. Uh, so if you have a shorter leg dog and their skirt goes kind of all the way down and around the ground, um, it might be slightly different, so you can check out my Yorkie video. Um, but I'm going to basically take my hand, swoop all the hair up like that. You can see this little bit comes out. So I trim there by the bottom of the foot. Careful not to cut the pad. And then I'm going to take the front of the foot, and I'm really just going to round it. I don't want to trim too much off. I don't want to go up on the foot because we want her to have that drop coat. We don't want to make it look funny. So you can see, I just let it hang. And then I'll zoom in um, towards the end so you guys can kind of see. Um, but I'm, I'm really just not doing much at all. And I'm just trimming the feet. I'm not trimming around the rest of the body or anything. All around the That's all that I trimmed up on her. 
The rest is nice and long and grown out. See who's a good girl. Yes, all ready for 4th of July. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below and I can answer them. And make sure you click to subscribe. We'll see you next time.